go to the mountains of North Carolina to do some arts and education shows, I said, great. This is what we love to do, and this is what we do all the time. started two years ago and with this mission to serve as many children as possible to expose them to amazing arts. In its pilot year we reached about 34,000 children across the state. This year we're reaching about 64,000 and in the two years we would have served 73 out of 100 counties. Look at their faces coming in, especially the little ones like our third graders who came today. And I see our uh, future leaders, our future doctors and lawyers, and, and I think it's our responsibility to provide them with a rich cultural foundation so that they will be able to meet the challenges of the 21st century. When I walked in the theater, I was excited because I saw the big pirate um, sign and I like pirates. I like pirates because they have swords and they don't brush your teeth. When I walked in, it felt really good to see an opera because I've never seen it before. And once I saw it, it was like so awesome. Probably even better than awesome. Performance guides allow the teachers to prepare the students for the performance. They are based on the North Carolina Standard Course of Studies, which means that they tie directly to the curriculum. So in the performance guide you would have information about the art form, some historical context, and then some classroom activities that tie the performance to the curriculum and help prepare the students for the experience. Well, all of dance is formulated, especially our folk dances, is formulated into sets, mathematical sets, and counting sets, and rhythmic sets. And so we're going to begin to look at math and how our math skills are a necessary part of learning how to dance and structure dances.
official workshop establishes a relationship between what is happening on stage and what the teachers are going to bring to their students in the classroom even before they come into the theater to see what's happening on the stage. Because the way we do this is the teacher does the lesson like the child. You can't learn to dance from a book. You have to experience it in your own body because the only way you'll be able to bring the joy of the experience to children is if you've felt the joy yourself. You cannot read about it. You have to do it. And rest! <laughs> And if there is a real engagement and understanding, like I saw here today, with the teachers that are bringing their students to the performance, and the inspiration and the excitement, if the teachers are bringing that back into the classroom about what they're coming with their students to see, that is amazing. And that creates a spark for the students to get really engaged and involved in, I'm looking forward to this. This is not something that, oh, we have to go to and do. You know, and there we go with the posture and the <laughs> We're looking forward to this, and when we get there, it is going to be an experience that we've already been prepared for by our teachers because our teachers have been prepared in the workshop. Mm -hmm.